Stephanie Mullen, here to quickly show you how to use matte transitions from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Final Cut Pro X. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Macs and PCs. If you're working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you'll be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump into Final Cut. As you can see here, I already have a project going and a small little edit going. And I want to transition from the first clip to the second clip. Okay? And I want to use the matte transitions from my toolbox to do that. Well, it's very simple to do. First, let's import some matte transitions. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click. I'm going to say import. Now you need to find wherever you've stored your effects. That's where you're going to look. And mine are right here. So I'm going to go to matte transitions. And you'll see there are two volumes. I'm only going to import one for now. So I select volume one, click import selected, and you'll see volume one is right here. You will also see that in this group I have soft matte transitions already imported and paint transitions. These actually work the exact same way that with the, the matte transitions and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you'll notice is that each pack has a PDF preview sheet. This allows you to get a quick snapshot of the elements in each pack. It's able for you to see exactly you know what they look like and it can help you you know choose an effect a lot faster. So from this list I'm, I see number seven. I'm going to choose number seven because I like that. So all you have to do for this to work is click on your effect, drag it down to your timeline. Okay and if I say play this you're going to see oh something's going on there. Well here's how it works to fix that. So we click on your, our effect, go over to our inspector and we're going to scroll down and I want to say none on the spatial conform and I want to change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha. Okay, so then if we play that now, it's black at the beginning and then you see the clip. That's perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make these compound clips right here for these two. But the very first thing before you do this, you need to make sure that your, when you're doing your effect that your clip below it is still there. So this clip below is, is still there at the end of your transition. And ours is, so that works perfect. So now the next step, I'm going to select both these clips, the transition clip and clip two. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna put new compound clip and I'm gonna say okay. And now you're gonna see that it worked. And that's it, pretty simple, pretty easy, all right? Pretty simple and pretty easy. So let's try another one. So let's undo that. Let's get rid of that matte transition. Let's try another one. Let's try two. All right. And again, I'm going to go over here, say none, and I'm going to make the blend mode be stencil alpha. And again, I want to make sure that I have the bottom clip finishes, or I should say the transition clip finishes before the bottom clip does, if that makes sense. So then it does. So I'm going to select both clips, right click, say new compound clip, say OK, roll that back and let's watch it. That's perfect. Perfect transition. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's try number one. Again, we're going to click on the clip, the transition, go over to spatial conform, click none, go to blend mode and go to stencil alpha. Again, make sure that our transition is finished before our bottom clip is finished, and it is. So we're going to compound the clip, say OK, and then roll it back and play it. Perfect, just like that. Okay, And like I said, the other transitions that we have in this pack work the exact same way. So if I delete that matte transition and I go up here to the soft matte transitions, and I pull that down and I'm going to click on it and I want to do none for spatial conform, change compositing to stencil alpha and then again make sure that bottom clip is still there by the end of your transition, it still is. So select both, do new compound clip, say OK, roll it back and here we go. Perfect. All right, let me show you one more time. Let me delete the soft matte transition. I'm going to add the paint transition. Now the paints come with two different types. There's slow clips and there are fast clips. I want to do a fast clip right now, so let's just pull this one down. 
Again, make sure your clip is full before it is. And again, the spatial conform should be none. Change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha. And we push play, make sure it's finished, okay? Then let's do a compound clip, say okay, and rewind and play. And there you go, that's it. Very simple, very easy. Simply import your transition, um, drag your transition on top of your clip, change the blend mode to stencil alpha, and then make your clip a compound clip, and you're done. Very simple, very easy. If you're interested in more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and we will be happy to help. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!